So you want to do body shots at your bachelorette party? Yeah, isn't that what they're supposed to be about? Getting down and dirty one last time before your life officially ends? I was kidding. Okay. <laughs> it's getting kind of hard to tell. Yeah. So, the English garden. No, no, English garden, Maxie. Do I need to spell it out for you? Okay. Dive bar, music cranked, male strippers with chiseled abs. The Connie side. The Connie side. You think you can handle it? Absolutely. Great. So here's Sonny's charge card. It, uh, has no limit, so knock yourself out. You don't have to answer that. I know who it was. You do? Yeah, it's the last person you need to hear from today. It was one of those men you borrowed the money from. Yeah, these bastards are already pressuring me. You know the best part about coming clean? We're in this together, okay? The next time that phone rings, I'm going to answer it, and I'm going to tell him what I really think. <laughs> Guy won't know what hit him. That's right. Come on, you have to sit down. Can't be up. Love you, Carly. Just please always remember that. No matter what happens. What's gonna happen? You keep trying to say something and then you stop. What's your deal? I live here, so, um... So? So now that the two of you are married, you'll probably want the place to yourselves, right? You know, we haven't really sorted out all the details yet. When you do, just let me know. <laughs> she seems abnormally concerned about this marriage. Well, she's probably just worried that Michael's gonna get all psycho when he finds out about this. No offense, but your brother could benefit from some serious anger counseling. And I thought my hands full with my parents. Mm -hmm. You heard from them? Only every five seconds. <laughs> my mom wants me to come home, sign the annulment papers. What are you going to do? You don't know where Christina is? Do you? And why do you say it like it's that unusual? Maybe that's her. It is. She's on her way home. Okay. Okay. So we're going to end this marriage once and for all because I'm telling you, our daughter will not be used as ammunition against you. How dare you bring my history into this? My ex-husbands are exes for a reason. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I was just trying what to... What are you trying to do, Joseph? What are you trying to do? All I know is I was minding my own business, trying to figure out what's next in my life when out of the blue, some bombshell drops a vat of soup on my head. It was not a vat, and it was definitely not on your head. Well, guess what? Boom! Everything changed. Just like that. You dazzle me, Tracy. When Jerry was trying to off the whole city, all I could think about was saving your life. That would be touching, except I never got sick. Mm, you don't know what you're talking about. Then enlighten me. I've never felt like this about any other woman. And I believe it goes both ways. Are you really going to let it pass us by because of something... Corinto said. Take another step and I'll be forced to call Alice. Go for it. The night of the storm, I was on duty when a couple came in with a newborn. They tried to make it to the hospital, but they got stuck because of the road closures and they had the baby at a bus stop. They said he wasn't making any noise at first and he wasn't breathing well he, he it was it was a boy yeah the guy took the baby and he and he went off and tried to look for help and he came across this woman in the woods a good samaritan he called her and she performed cpr and saved the baby's life did you see the baby yeah and at first i thought they were overreacting honestly to to uh, the scare of having the baby at a roadside because the baby was perfectly healthy he had strong lungs he had a good heart there was no indication that anything was ever wrong. Did they mention the Good Samaritan's name? Could this couple's baby be the baby who died? Could your mother switch Sam's baby know. with this one? I don't know. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. If I believed in signs, I'd say that this is flashing neon. You don't believe in signs? Well, I'm... I used to. I mean, it's basically why Jason and I 
got married, when we got married, where we got married. And I don't know, look at where, look at where that got us. I don't know, it's just, it's too late. Well, I wouldn't close the book just yet. And why is that? Life can change in an instant. Anything's possible. Yeah, anything's possible. <laughs> when did you become Mr. Optimism, huh? I don't know. I guess you you face death a couple of times, and that's what happens to you. So. So. You gonna keep it or not? So you're convinced my mother switched the show? I'm just saying that she had motive and she had opportunity, uh, and this baby well, gave her the I don't want to believe this. But I've had to learn the hard way my mother's pretty much capable of anything. I need a name or an address. I'm bound by the privacy. Look, I know, I know, I know that you don't owe me anything. This is Sam's son. And if he's out there alive somewhere, she needs to know. I'm not doing getting an annulment. Well, you know, now your parents are gonna try and talk you into that. Let them. They know just as well as I do they can't force me to end this marriage. Not after last night. <laughs> Everyone needs to just take a deep breath. There is no reason why this annulment is not going to go smoothly. You realize we're talking about our daughter? She's impulsive, she's stubborn, she doesn't do smoothly. And whose fault is that? Uh, I don't know. She grew up in your house. With your temperament. Uh -huh. Look, Christina has already decided on the annulment, and the grounds for the annulment are clear. Trey lied to Christina, tricked her into this wedding. But Christina and Trey have not consummated the marriage, so even Mr. Slick Producer can't argue with that one. So amazing making love to you. Really? Why, well, you don't think so? No, I do. Are you kidding? I wish you could just stay in bed all day. Ugh, definitely beats going to my mom's. Can we go with you? I'd say yes if I thought it would help. Thank you for offering. It means a lot. Good luck. I'll call you when I'm done. Okay. Now you felt something. I can't. But it doesn't mean anything if I can't trust you. Tracy. I've been made a fool of too many times. It's not gonna happen again. You're really doing this? You can see yourself out, Joseph. Fine. Tracy, come on! One thing is working out. What do you think's gonna happen? Nothing. Or any... Anything. I, that's my point, is... When Jerry shot me and I... Didn't know if I was gonna make it... It killed me knowing that I... Hadn't said it enough, so just... Remember... That I love you. Please. No matter what. I love you, too. Okay. I'm not going anywhere, no matter what. Oh, and don't forget about food for the reception. I want Chinese. Chinese? Yes, let's have some mushu pork and pot stickers. Well, what about drinks? Are we going to serve domestic or imported beer? Both. <sighs> this is going to be a wedding that no one will ever forget. Wedding that no one will ever forget. I should go and get these to Jason. You are more than welcome to hang out and wait for my mom. Thanks. If you don't mind, I think I will. 
Great. Hey, um... Hope you get what you want. Me too. Hey, it's Jason Morgan. I could use your help. 